big old bass and I'm about to catch his butt. This is crazy rock bass. Young Moolah Baby! Young Moolah Baby! Baby, where's Daddy? Baby, watch out, baby. Baby, it's dangerous. There's hooks involved. Say goodbye. <laughs> oh, it's just a crazy rock bass. Come on, I don't want to catch you. Why did you have to do this to yourself? Right now, the bait is stuck in this guy's mouth, and I feel like a surgeon. He's gonna make it, he's gonna make it. We don't have much time. Oh, I did it! He survived! Big old bass! Ba ba! This is Bart bass. This isn't even Chuck bass. Look how he got hooked. I love fishing because it reminds me of like catching Pokemon. It makes me feel like I'm a Pokemon trainer. And you get to catch different kinds. Like some of them are better in battle, you know? The problem with once you catch a fish, then the other fish hear about it. Like, I feel like the other bass were like, okay, hold on, Jimmy's gone. All the other bass know that they can be caught because one of their kind got caught and they're smart enough to swim away. And then crazy rock bass, that's why they're crazy rock bass. That's why I call them that because they just keep getting caught. Like, none of their kind is like, hey, it's not safe there, bud. Like, they just keep coming up. I haven't opened this up in a very long time, so I'm excited. It's like an unboxing, but like, I've seen this before, but I don't know exactly what's in it. All right, we got some line, a nice Pokeball, some other sparkly grubbies. I always thought that these would make nice earrings, you know, these. Like this would be nice, right? Oh, those are very cute. I know, I low-key want to do this. Oh, this is like fish perfume. This makes the fish want to eat the bait. Nobody come for me, I just do this for fun. All right, it's net fishing time. Let's see who we can catch with this. The key is to soak your bread before and then get the senses moving. Ah! Oh, I got two! Oh, good for you. Two for one! Ah, ah, ah. All right, we got a bluegill. And we got imposter bluegill. <laughs> baby, say goodbye. Say goodbye, baby. See, so now the fish I just caught are telling the other fish that like you can get captured from this thing. So smart ones will listen, but like the stupid ones are like, no, I don't wanna see. It reminds me of that one episode of SpongeBob, the carnival, the hooks come to town and then Patrick's like, it's the carnival, they're not scary. And then they like literally get taken up. Hey, 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 hey. We got a yellow belly baby. Let's see if you make it in. Come on, yes. Good for you, tell the others. So when I was younger, I used to fish a lot and I'd fish with the net just like I am right now and I made up this like game or this character every time I would catch a rock bass it was the crazy rock bass because they're always getting into trouble they're always getting caught and they never learn their lesson so I would like have the other fish like I'd act them out as they're in the water looking at the net and they'd be like crazy rock bass what are you doing and he'd be like I have to Basically, in my mind, I was like, well, he has to get captured so he can, like, be the one who, like, got captured for everybody else. You know what I mean? Like, he had to let them know the horror that is land. The other fish weren't, like, old enough to know what could happen. So Crazy Rock Bass took one for the team. But then what's weird about him is I would catch the Crazy Rock Bass, and then i put him back, I'd throw him back, and then he would literally not learn his lesson, and he would, like, sacrifice himself again. And other fish didn't understand, and, like, I didn't understand as I was playing this game. But, like, this is something I used used to always play. Crazy rock bass, like, saga, basically. All the bass ditched. Because they knew about that first guy. Bass are smart for that reason. But crazy rock bass are kind of dumb because they're gonna keep getting caught. They don't learn their lesson. Come on, big old fella, I know you want some of this grub. Do you think fish know about Grubhub? Big old bass, big old bass, big old bass. Okay, so a fishing tip is to just not care. If you just sit there and wait and just like think about good thoughts, the fish come to you. I just kind of like sit here, I enjoy the world. If the fish come, I feel like they're naturally drawn to the energy that you put out. Right now, they're just hanging. We're just hanging out right now. See, look, I don't care. Fish, if you want to come, you can come hang. If not, I don't I don't need you around me. But if you're a bass, swim this way. <laughs> See, I'm thinking too hard, so I'm not catching any fish. That's literally the tea on fishing. 
Oh my gosh, big old bass. Come on, Waves, can you chill out for one second? I just need to see where this fish is. This bass right here, it's kind of hard to see, but this looks like the bass's big brother that I just caught, and I'm trying to catch it. So I put some bread to like, you know, it's a party, you get your friends involved. Like, look at those fish, they're like, oh my gosh, like, I love this. So I'm trying to get like big bass jealous, and I'm trying to like pick the perfect bait to put on with my fishing rod. Like, look at this, I feel like he'd be into this. He's too good for bread, too good for like old reliable. This guy, the yellow one that the other bass was into. So I'm thinking he's trying to go bougie and go with this one. So I'm gonna try to catch him with this. All right, they're not liking this one. I'm gonna try fake frog vibes. Right now I feel like, I don't know, Ash catching, trying to catch Luki or something. He literally is thinking, he's contemplating. Please, you gotta move him around, look like they're alive. Come on, what a jerk. Oh my gosh, please bass, please. The sun needs to come out, I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, I think I'm trying too hard. Ah, 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 I got something! Ah! Ah, are you serious? Ah, this is a crazy ah, rock bass. Ah, ah. Hey guys, so I ruined this shirt. It has a stain on it and I just can't get it off. I tried cleaning it, bleach, whatever, spot all that, and it just won't come off. So I was like, you know, it would be fun to tie-dye this. So I brought some tie-dyeing colors and stuff, and I figured I would just tie-dye this and then make it into a cute shirt. So let's see what happens. <laughs> This looks like dinosaur tie-dye or something. Actually, it's kind of cute now that I look at it. I kind of like it, just kidding. I like this. All right, so my shirt is all dyed. So yeah, just a fun little DIY. I say DIY not make a tie-dye shirt. So yeah, I'm gonna see if I can wear this tomorrow. Make something new out of something ruined. <laughs> yeah, stay tuned for what it's gonna look like. Also, yeah, I didn't have any gloves, so I just went for it. It's kind of nice though, it looks fun. It looks like I'm crafty. <laughs> you look like Lax, bro. The ultimate Lax. You remember the ultimate Lax, bro? No. What's that? It's like, it's like a little funny little com comedy skit that was like probably back in like 2010, 2011. Uh, I feel like sitting here and listening to this. <laughs> 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 nice one, baby. So, this is the fit right now, and we're having a nice little bonfire. Hey. Crockett, we got one! Ah! Hook him right in the kisser. Look how beautiful. Back you go, little guy. Just keep swimming. Ah! Oh, I got him, 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 no! Here we go, here he there is, he is. Here, he is. here he is, I got yes, him. Give me a chance, give me a chance. You got the net? Mm -hmm. Careful, dude. don't pull him out of the water. Careful, leave him, leave him ah! Keep it in the water, keep it in the water. Oh. Unbelievable. Bass Chronicles continue. Is it on? Yeah. We're using live bait now. I found this centipede and I like put the hook all the way inside it. So now it's a centipede hook and I'm hoping the bass will like it. Go long, centipede hook! Into the water. Baby, watch out, baby. I almost caught the bass a couple times off camera. Baby, stop! And I accidentally hooked the baby on his collar. Ah, ah. Baby, stop! Okay, come on, ah. let's do this. Yeah, yeah! All right guys, we're gonna do a mini cooking with Gino. First you wanna get your peanut butter, then you wanna get some crackers. It's real easy, I'm gonna show you what to do. So you're gonna grab your peanut butter, you're gonna grab a cracker, you're gonna put it on the cracker like so. You're gonna take another cracker, and that's it. Super easy, super tasty. Was that too fast for you guys? I'm gonna do another one, ready? Peanut butter. Okay, sometimes that happens. It's okay. Peanut butter in the middle. There you go. 
You got yourself a gourmet snack. So good. Then you just repeat until you're full. Now I know what you guys are probably thinking. I'm not spreading it on the entire cracker. That's what you have the second cracker for. You literally just put it like this and you move it around like so. And then something that's really fun is if you push down, some of the peanut butter goes through the holes. And that's fun too. <laughs> I call it peanut butter crackers. <laughs> it tastes better if you do a little dance as you can. That's all for this episode. <laughs> you having fun, baby? Say nothing for yes. You having fun, baby? Watch this. Baby. Alright, so it's been exactly 24 hours. She came out pretty good. I don't understand though because I put purple and pink in it and I don't see any purple or pink. See, this is where the spot was. Also, I'm wearing a flannel. I never wear flannels, ever. So I don't know how to act. So I like found this log and I was like, I feel like this like matches the outfit. There's literally a spider on that. I feel like girls who wear flannel wouldn't have done that though. Oh well. <laughs>